What's up, everybody? Watt007 here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today, as you guys can tell for the title and thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the newest Yu-Gi-Oh! game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel. We're going to be getting some early gameplay for all of you guys, and this is going to be my first time reaction to playing the new Rush Duel Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And trust me, guys, this video is going to be a train wreck due to the fact that this is only in Japanese. The reason why I'm able to play this game early is because if you have a Japanese Nintendo account, you can actually go into the Nintendo eShop and download the new demo for the rush duel game so the rush duel game isn't out yet but we have a demo that we can play and i'm going to do my first time playthrough of this like i said it's going to be a train wreck because i can't read japanese i'm an american and due to that we're just going to just go into this blind and see what's going to be popping with the new rush duel game and another thing too that sucks is that while this is uh, the reason why i'm covering this is because it's Yu-Gi-Oh related and i love playing Yu-Gi-Oh games the problem is i've never played the actual rush duel stuff like i've like not really took a look at the rush duel stuff and i'm really hoping that when we get an internet national release of this game that i'll have this will be a great opportunity to learn about rush duel and whatnot but without further ado though boys and girls ladies and gentlemen let's go take a look at the new rush duel game i am honestly so excited because again i love playing Yu Gi Oh games it's one of my favorite things to do on just youtube and whatnot that's why i've been a Duel Links content creator for a very long time and let's go take a look at this right here and we gotta update my sister i'll, I'll, I'll be back Okay, so we got it updated right here. Apparently, my Switch needed an update. I don't think the game did. But now, let's go see if we can hop in this and play the new Rush Duel game. And, and we're just going to choose the Watt 007 account here. I don't think it matters which account you use until you actually have the... Uh, as long as you have it downloaded, you can play this just fine. And if you guys want to know how to make this yourself, look up a guide on how to make a Japanese Nintendo Switch account. I can link you get my guide on how to download Link Evolution early because that guide actually shows you how to make a Japanese uh, Nintendo e shop account but you guys can probably find a different one out there on youtube that's recent but i'll put something in the description down below if you guys want to download this for yourself because again it's a free download it's a demo you don't need to pay anything you just need to have a japanese nintendo account here Rush to do. hey i can read some of this stuff right here boys i press a button i can do that guys and then we got 2021 digital uh, konami digital entertainment i'm really excited to play this dude because depending on how well this game plays it's gonna make it's gonna matter on the future for the Yu-Gi-Oh like future Yu-Gi-Oh games because let me tell you what Link Evolution was somewhat of a disappointment so I'm really hoping with the Rush Duel game that we're trying out right now and the Master Duel game that's coming out soon that'll just revive the Yu-Gi-Oh video games because Duel Links did a fantastic job with it but we need a really good console Yu-Gi-Oh game so let's go see what Konami is working with here because this is actually not developed by um this is actually developed from Konami themselves because they've been actually making a lot of their games um just they've been making a lot of their games uh through other publishers and I feel like that's just been why some of the recent Yu-Gi-Oh games have not felt as good as some of the old ones, dude. Because I love the just the World Championship games. Which speak, speaking of which, I'll make a World Championship uh, video soon on World Championship 2010, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh game of all time. Anyways, I'm gonna adjust the audio real quick, and we'll get into the game. Okay, so we're gonna switch to the wireless headset here, just because I can uh, turn up and down the volume here, because it's too loud in my end. But I don't want to like mess up any of the audio for you guys, so. Let's go click A here. It's not letting me choose a name. There we go. I was like hoping to scroll up to choose my name, but here we go. We got Watts 007. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to guess blue means yes here. Dude, we're going to be learning Japanese together, everybody. Dude, I'm so excited to play this game too. And I got to say, like the logo and artwork so far is looking really good. I'm hoping that the environment when you get to move around and whatnot is awesome. So it looks like a lot of this is going to be cutscene related from what I've noticed from this few gameplay trailers that I have seen and like leaks and whatnot for this. I didn't cover those because I've been really busy with work and whatnot, which is why there's been some lack of videos. But yeah, we're going to like mostly skip through most of this due to the fact that I can't read Japanese. Also, guys, let me know um, how many like episodes you want of playing through this demo. I guess we could shoot for like a like goal, maybe like 150 likes. If we can get like 150 likes, maybe uh, we'll do like a part two of this or I'll just live stream the rest of the demo. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below because I don't plan to do a let's play for this part because again, it's a demo and I can't read Japanese. It looks like we got some sort of fire attribute though and you can see that little fire symbol that just got put on our character. We have the shirt too. I wonder if we can like exchange our clothes and exchange our like attribute because I'm going to guess we're having like a fire rush tool deck. I don't know. Anyway, shout out to my boy. I don't know what his name is. I'm going to actually pull up a wiki real quick of all the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's characters because he's the main character for Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's but I don't know what his name is. Okay, so it looks like we're talking to Yuga and then some sort of robot here. But yeah, what's up Yuga? How you doing, man? And then hello to this robot here. What's popping, my guy? How's it going? Are you going to give me a fire Rush Duel deck? Also, it's going to be so difficult for me to learn how to play Rush Duel here because I've never played Rush Duel before. It's just something that I never did. I know it's kind of similar to like the Season 1 rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's something to look forward to. And then who's this guy? It's like 
Tatshuna. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Tatshuna. Something like that. I'll throw up his name on screen here since I completely butchered it. So he's kind of like the rival at Yu-Gi-Oh here. And I think he played Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm trying to remember if he did or not. Or if like that's what happened in the first duel. Because I remember like one of the first rush duel stats. There was um, a Blue Eyes White Dragon. I don't know if he played it or not. Who's this guy? Also, it looks like the bot that we're talking to is called Kaizo. And then is this guy called Chevel? Chevy? Something like that. I think he might be called Chevel, this purple haired guide. But oh wait, no, that might not be his name. It might be, it might be Gato, something like that. Dude, Japanese names are so difficult for me to pronounce. Anybody that like actively watches the Yu-Gi-Oh sevens is going to be like, oh, why can he not pronounce all the names, bro? And it's like, I'm just here to play the Yu-Gi-Oh video game, bro. Also, who's this chick's name? She's like the main like female protagonist, like Roman, something like that. Ramen or Roman. There we go. Why are you mad antagonist or not antagonist rival? Why are you so upset? What did the gamer girl do to you? Yeah, break it up, robot. There we go. Uh-oh. He did a little picture of everybody here. Am I in the picture? What is going on, dude? <gasps> I do not know what's going on, but there's a UFO apparently. I always found it interesting too with like certain who is this who is this and why is she on my screen what the who is this called her name is noodle shout out to that shout out to her noodle best name at least I was the Yu-Gi-Oh wiki clan let me know if her name's actually noodle that's actually pog that's a pog champ I don't know how much of importance that she plays in this because like I'm trying to remember too because a lot of people were saying that Yu-Gi-Oh sevens was at first kind of childish but as the show developed it kind of did get like more serious as time went on kind of like with arc five because arc five I had a hard time watching arc five at first because I thought it was really childish at the beginning but then uh, when I found out that the uh, characters did uh, hop through dimensions and whatnot, I thought it was cool to take a look in, uh, like watch it because of the Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds uh, support and Zexel support that they did for releasing old characters. Who's this antagonist looking dude? President Goa. Dude, why? Wait, is this the actual president? I think this is the actual president. Dude, no wonder the town is sussy, bro. Dude, the, oh, what is this, bro? Because I heard like the town in Yu-Gi-Oh 7s from what some people told me is that it's kind of like a rundown town and some of the like, you know, duelists that we see here are like scrounged up cards and whatnot. So I, I'm, I'm not surprised that the president's this dude here. Whatever, man. Whatever. Can we get some rush duel him though? I want to like... 110% misplay because I can't read Japanese. That's what I'm here for. But so far, it's not looking bad. Like, I wish that we didn't have cutscenes stuff like this, but I mean, previous Yu-Gi-Oh games have had it. And so far, from what you can tell in the background here, it is a little bit open world, which is really exciting, which I'm really, really, really happy with. Anyways, let's go see if we can learn how to rush a duel. Rush a duel. There we go. So we got a red highlight text. Hopefully we're getting soon to like actually rush dueling. Okay. I don't know what this means, but I am a trained professional. Okay. So it looks like we have a little autosave thing here. Cool. And you can kind of, oh, you can kind of move the camera around. That's sick. Okay. Okay. I like this. I like this already. Again, the graphics don't look amazing, but for what it's worth, this is a huge upgrade for like Yu-Gi-Oh games. Like this is already a huge upgrade from Link Evolution, bro. Like Inc see my thing with Link Evolution is that it did what it needed to do, but I felt like they could have done so much more with the game. But yeah, this is cool. It's a little open world. As you can see, we can like talk to the NPCs here and they probably can give us like quests or something. There's no prompt showing A to click, but yeah, it looks like we can do like side quests or maybe just chat with them. Again, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know what exactly he wants from me and why is he highlighted. Can I not? Okay, so it looks like green bubbles means you only can talk to them. Yeah. That's kind of weird. I wish you could talk to at least everybody because like most games like have the option where everybody has to say something, you know? So we'll take a look at this here. I guess green bubbles mean that you can only talk to them. We'll talk to Yugo or Yuga last. And the robot. Well, not. We'll talk to like the uh, like least important characters first. We got some other robots here. Yo, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. And then yeah, they just all have stuff to say. I'm just seeing if they're like gonna give me anything, you know? Oh, these guys are dueling here. Another thing I wish that they would have though is like maybe like to show some monsters here if they're doing like a rush duel, but whatever. We'll take a look at this. So we got some free stuff over here. Get out of the way, girl. I got. I gotta get some trash over here. I gotta get some duel points. Hey, I don't know what that is, but yes, sir. I'll scoop that up. And then it looks like we can exit out of here. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. 
that's the i don't know what this card is called but this is like the main one for uh you guys here i do not want to go into school but good to know that this is the school again maybe i mean this is just a demo at the end of the day but usually demos are kind of close to like the final build of the game but again it's it's only gonna show us a little piece of the story you know what i'm saying so i guess we'll talk i guess we'll talk to yuga whatever man actually can i press any buttons and see uh if i can pull up like a deck that wrong button <laughs> hey i got to where i need to go um okay so it looks like wait what is this i don't i don't even know where i'm at dude i clicked the home screen and now i'm here <laughs> yo present though okay so that's a code so this is for codes here that makes sense there's little buttons up there amiibo support that's cool i would actually love to buy an amiibo for rush tool that's cool it looks like you can probably watch Yu-Gi-Oh 7s if you click this huh let's see Oh, these are like all the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 characters that we met up so far. So it's probably going to say like, yo, what's up? How you doing? I thought I put my name Wattable 7 in here and it just pops up like that. Okay. I wonder if that's just like the default name for the character. And then it looks like it's telling us like the things that we did so far. Again, amiibo support. That's cool. Oh, you can get amiibos from your smartphone. Oh, that's really cool. So you can use your Pro Controller and Joy-Con to uh, get amiibo cards online. So you can probably get cards like that. That's a feature that I would love to see come back because in the old Yu-Gi-Oh games, they used to have codes that you would put in where every Yu-Gi-Oh card, for example, I think the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards still have the codes here. So as you can see on the bottom left of my camera, we'll focus on this card here. So as you can see next to the first edition of this card right here, there's a set of numbers. And in the Yu-Gi-Oh games, you used to have been able to punch in this code and be able to attain the cards like the Tag Force games and the DS games. You have to pay an extra currency in order to do it, but it'll still a feature that was cool. So I like that they're bringing back the ability to put in codes and like put in like Amiibo cards to like get cards in the game. So that's a nice little feature that's really nice to see again i really hope that they put this internationally i know we don't have any rush tool stuff internationally yet but i still hope that this is like uh, something that they'll consider doing um you know and whatnot or at least give it english support okay so let's see here okay so it looks like start button is the map here so that's cool so i don't know where we are but i think we're in the school here huh and then this is like a different building so yeah that's something so that's something new so we were here i believe so that's cool and then I th i'm gonna guess this lets me save okay i'm gonna guess the back button here the little minus button lets me save here so that's cool and then how do we get to our inventory okay so inventory is x okay so i must have hit the x button and the home button at the same time when i was smashing buttons and then again the only stuff that it lets us do so far is just take a look at this stuff everything else is locked so we can't build a deck yet unfortunately well let's talk to you guys and see if we can build a deck yeah. i want to like duel him or something you know Looks like we cannot duel him yet. Okay. What about the robot? Will a robot let us duel? That's all I want to do right now. All, literally, all I want to do, do is duel right now. He won't let us duel either. Okay. Well, let's go to the school and learn how to duel then. Why don't we? Yo, hello, girl. How are you doing today? Get out of the way. I need to talk to a girl. Does she have anything important to say? She seems to be happy, but nothing's popping up there. And we can talk to the rival guy. I'm gonna see, is there like anything else? We can go outside here, I guess. Oh, okay. Does he give us a deck? Do you give us a deck? I wanna like build a deck. Hi. Hi. He does not give us a deck. Who, where do we go to build a deck? Again, I really like the like open world feeling though of a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I, I'm happy that we're going in this direction. I really hope that the Master Duel game has something like this too. Got some free stuff up here. Yes, sir. Whatever this is, I got it. <laughs> yes, sir. I like how the loading screen only shows the same card every single time, man. Maybe he'll teach us how to duel since he's dueling right now. Yo, what's up? Nope, he just says, Rasha Dul. Why are you giggling at me like that? That is not epic. Why are you looking at me so surprised, my guy? So I legitimately don't think any of these guys have anything relevant for us. Let's go to the other location that we popped up on the map and see where the heck to go. We're going to travel here, I guess. Yes, I want to travel here. So we got a little fast travel system, which is neat. Very similar to the World Championship games. The World Championship games have the exact same travel system. Okay. Okay. I think this is where we're supposed to be, it looks like. Are we going to learn how to rush a duel? Who is this? She could be in our instructor, I guess so. So it looks like we can talk to all of them and have a little funny dialogue with them, but we can talk to her. Is there anything cool around here though? Like later girl, 
I didn't want to rush duel. I want to go into the alley. <laughs> I want to go into the sussy alley. What's this? Oh, noobs. I do not want to stay here. They have a little alley down there. Other than that, we're chilling for the rest of this here. Is there anything else cool around here before I go talk to her? Yeah, I'm too used to playing RPGs where I got to look around everywhere first before I do like the main quest. It's just, it's just within my DNA. I'm sorry, guys. Hello. How are you today? So I'm going to guess, is she going to teach us how to rush duel? Sure, we'll duel. Oh, cool. Okay. And I guess, so it looks like we can pick our decks here. So we'll pick this one because it's our only one. Looks like it's a beefy Axe Raider deck. Yes, sir. Only the best Yu-Gi-Oh! duelists use Axe Raider. Versus... Okay, so rock, paper, scissors is per usual in most Yu-Gi-Oh! games. Bring in the tradition back. We're going to go with a good old uh, scissors. Let's go! Easy clap. And I'm going to guess top is first and second is on the bottom. So we're going to go for first here, it looks like. Part of the demo. I wonder if we're, like, guaranteed the win. 36 starting hand. And we draw... Oh, so we start with 40 cards, but we draw four cards. Okay. Okay. Very, very, very cool here. And again, this guy is telling me what I'm supposed to do, but unfortunately, that's not going to be happening. So it looks like starting life point is 3,000. I don't know if he's telling us that we uh, traditionally start with 8,000, but in the demo, we're doing 3,000. That might be what he's telling us here. And it's telling us our like battle phase here. So we probably have uh, draw phase, standby phase, main phase, and end. Or draw phase, uh, standby phase, main phase, battle phase. Actually, I don't know yet because there's only four battle phases here. Maybe there's no standby phase in Rush Duel. Okay, so we're going to draw here. Oh, we get to draw turn one. Okay, so we start with four cards. We get to draw first. Interesting. Because we're going first here, so that's interesting that we, that we get to draw first. Don't do that anymore in Yu-Gi-Oh, but maybe in Rush Duel you do. Okay, and then it's going to go to um, standby phase then, or is this our main phase? I don't know. Let's see if it gets skipped automatically. Okay, nope. So there's no standby phase in this game. Interesting. So just draw phase. Uh, main phase, battle phase, and end phase then. And now, I don't know if he's telling us that we can only summon level 4 or lower. But uh, we'll see what's going to be happening here. We got a lot of just vanilla beat sticks here. So it doesn't really matter what the name of these cards are. We just got to look at the attack and defense at that point. So we got this little fire doggo here. And we're going to summon our boy in attack position. We got 1100 doggo right here. Again, all the Rush Duel cards have, like, custom artwork. So, they are based off of cards that are already existing in Yu-Gi-Oh! But they have updated artwork. So, it's like, I don't recognize them from the top of my head. Only because of the fact that it's like, well, they're updated a little bit. But we're going to go summon our Doggo here. And, again, this is this looks really good. So, while the overworld doesn't look that amazing, the dual field itself looks really good. I actually really like how it's looking like right now. Also, I just realized, let me move my camera out of the way so you guys can see your life points. Okay, this should be good enough for the video's sake right here, but sorry for having our life points covered up. Oh, do we get to summon two times per turn? Maybe we do. Or do we get to summon as many monsters as we want? If we can summon as many monsters as we want, that's kind of cool. I think we do. Okay. We'll summon you in defense position because you have 1,400. Interesting. Okay, so I, go, I guess there is no limit to how many cards you can summon. That's cool. Okay, so I guess we're going to end our turn here. It is now her turn. Let's see what she got up her sleeve, right? Let's go see what she, what's popping with her deck. Again, I really like the dual feel here. Like, the cards look really good. This gives me hope for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. If the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels can look this good, oh, dude, I'm happy. This actually looks really nice in the actual duel itself. So it looks like she summons some sort of Medusa looking shit, kind of like what we have. I don't think she's Medusa. She's like some fish gal, I guess, but we have that card in our hand, so I'm not too scared. Um, I yes. Oh, that's just confirming if we want to like keep checking the field. We do not want to. Okay, we do not need to keep checking the field. Are you gonna summon the same card? Nope, we got a little cooler dragon here. 15 Hundo Beat Stick. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is going to show us, like, everything here. It's going to show us, like, what happens on an attack. Okay. There we go. We got a little dragon dude. And dragon dude can take out our arrow guy, unfortunately. So we're going to take 500 damage here. Not looking forward to this attack right here. Ooh, that's cool. Not bad. 
Again, like anything that we're that I'm seeing here is already an upgrade from Link Evolution. Like again, Link Evolution did what it needed to do, but this game is already like exceeding my expectations comparatively to Link Evolution. So this is showing us too that when the same attacking monsters attack each other, it'll get destroyed. So this is a nice little setup here because it shows us all the basics of Yu-Gi-Oh that if the attack is higher than the other attack, that monster gets destroyed. If the attack is the same, then both cards get popped. And then if the defense is higher than the attack, your opponent takes damage, but nothing that like, you know, gets taken out. So that's really nice. Nice little demonstration of just the basic basics of Yu-Gi-Oh, which I like. So that's not too shabby whatsoever. We got some other little tutorial stuff here. Let's go see what happens. Because I want to see if we have to, like, tribute someone at all. Because I think that the rules are just, like, you know, Season 1 Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you don't need to tribute anything off. But we'll find out soon. Because I think this is where we pop off in the tutorial. Draw! Oh, we get the draw so we have a maximum of five cards. It looks like it. Hey, we got our Axe Raider out here, baby. Level 7. Yes, sir. We're about to mess this girl up. Okay. Oh, this I gotta pay attention to this part. This is like kind of like the important stuff here. So is it saying that we tribute? Let's find out here. So we do this. Okay, so we summon the six star here, and we have to tribute off our monster. Okay. Okay. So if it is a five, six, or seven, then we have to tribute it off. Okay. Very cool. So we got a like nice little two thousand beat stick here. Okay. I don't know what this means here. So level five and level six equals one. Level seven and up equals two. Okay, okay. Sounds good. So this is just basic tribute summoning here. So we're gonna summon our archer guy. And then we're gonna go summon our probably level three here, right? Yep, because again, we have no limit on how many summons that we can do. So we're gonna basically sack off our three and our three. And then and then from there, we're gonna sacrifice our three and our three and go into my axe raider, my dual axe raider right here. Oh, do we get a summoning animation for this? No shot. No shot. Are we getting a summoning animation for this? I actually kind of hope we do. Oh, wait. Are we? A? A? Axe Raider got a summon animation? Let's go? I don't know who what this card's actual name is, but he looks like my boy Axe Raider. Okay, I like this. I like this. Nice little summon animation there. That's heat. I like that. And then now we still have another summon here, so we're going to summon our little four-star here and just go to work and just OTK. Easiest OTK of our life. Yes, sir. We do not need to check the field. And let's just go attack. Yep. Okay. So we're going to go to our battle phase here. And then, okay. So it's the game's telling us we got to attack with our Axe Raider. And we're going to take out you for 900 points of damage. Nice. Okay. And then next up here, we're going to get our 2k beater and take out another 900 points of damage. And then we'll just OTK for last turn here. 2 OP. So again, I'm hoping that these starting life points start with, uh, what's it called? 8,000. Because it seems like you can OTK really easily if it only is 3,000 life points. Okay, boys, we're going to do that fat direct attack here. War game. Let's go. Got a little summon animation here too with uh, our main protagonist getting hyped to, to, to get this OTK here. Nice. GG easy. You win. Nice. Oh, do we get some prize cards? Nice. So it looks like when you win, you get some prize cards here. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how like the meta is going to work in this because it, it's kind of interesting to just be able to summon and summon and summon and summon. So... I'm very curious to see like how decks are going to be built in rush duels here i'm definitely going to have to live stream this game and like also like probably watch Yu-Gi-Oh 7s to learn a little bit about uh rush duel because again like i knew about Yu-Gi-Oh 7s when it came out i just never got into like making the time to you know watch it you know but that's awesome here and we got our awesome deck right here just too good axe raider deck too good hey there's a reason why axe raider is a ur in Yu-Gi-Oh duel links like come on and then we got some prize cards here too, which is sick. So I guess every time you defeat somebody, you get some prize cards, which is like similar to Yu-Gi-Oh. It's also telling us how you can get packs in the game too. So that's awesome. Or no, it's telling us we can build our decks. Very cool. So we got our little starter deck here that we can edit. Nice. And then we got a little saved here. Nice. Yeah, this Axe Raider guy is only a rare bummer. There we go. 
Very cool. So it looks like it's like just showcasing our deck here or like something with packs. We got a little currency on the bottom. Um, what do we want to do? I have no clue what we want to do. No clue what any of this is. But we can also edit our deck here, which is cool. So we can take a look at our deck, I think. Oh, I have no clue what I'm doing here. I don't even know what this is. How do we edit it? I have no clue what any of this means. Okay, we'll back out of this. Yeah, we'll just get out of this. What is this? Is this where the shop is? Oh, this is where we added our deck. Cool. Oh, so it shows like all the cards in the game. So this is like our, we have like barely anything in our collection. Okay, cool. What else do we have? We have currency here. Can we do a pack opening? Big pack opening. We have a little rush duel quiz and then more stuff about that. Okay. Nothing too crazy here, it looks like. But yeah, honestly, boys, we are kind of at the 30 minute mark of today's video. So I think we're going to cut it short here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo on taking a look at Rush Duels. Again, let me know if you guys want to see more gameplay on the new Rush Duel game. I might just do a live stream for this, but if you guys want to see like a part two for this, just hit the like button on the video down below. I'll either do it as a live stream or make a video on it. So 150 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. And so far, even though I can't read any Japanese, this game is looking really cool and is really promising. And fingers crossed that Konami can release this game internationally because I'll buy it instantly because I would love to get attached to a new Yu-Gi-Oh game and make some new Yu-Gi-Oh content for all of you guys. But seriously, though, thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Leave a like. Other than that, it should be it for me. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one, everybody.